Let's talk, well, talk about more about this now with Pepe Escobar. He's a roving uh, correspondent for the Asia Times. Pepe, Adrian Tew, thanks for being with us. Now, following America's lead, the EU today didn't it impose sanctions on the Libyan leader's regime, trying to establish contact with the opposition. I want to get your thoughts on this. Do you think we're witnessing echoes, maybe, of what happened in the Balkans back in the 90s, i.e. foreign interference to wield influence? Well, I think to a lot of people, this will sound and uh, look like a Freddy Krueger movie. You know, it, this is very, very ugly. The return of humanitarian imperialism. So uh, things have to be very clear. OK, sanctions against the Gaddafi clan, uh, freezing their assets in Europe. That's OK. But no NATO imperialist uh, adventurism in North Africa. This, depending how the situation evolves, depending on this push, of uh, eastern liberated libya if they have enough weapons and they can organize a push towards tripoli this is what they're actually do doing now as we speak if this doesn't work and the next step being discussed already in brussels in london and in washington would be a nato invasion this would be absolutely disgusting but we cannot rule it out for the moment I want to talk about that a, a bit more in a minute. But really, I guess one of the big drivers here is energy. I'm talking oil production in Libya. It's dropped by almost yeah. half during this unrest. To what extent is oil driving Western reaction over the region's crisis? Ab absolutely crucial because, you know, Libya, they export 1.7 million barrels a day. The protests are spreading to Oman. Oman produces more or less 800,000. So can you imagine if in uh, one week or two we have 2.5 million barrels of oil a day out of the market? Like Saudi Arabia could compensate it 1 million, million and a half, but not the 2.5 million. And this would have uh, the, the barrel of oil going to 130 or 140 dollars. It's already 114 today. So uh, yes, it's absolutely essential. So uh, I would say that the rationale for a possible Western intervention in Libya would be if the oil production in Libya and in Oman would cease completely. Mm. Uh, another angle to this, many condemning, of course, the Libyan uh, regime's hardline actions against protesters. What, what is the likelihood, though, do you think, of uh, us ever seeing trials over human rights abuses? Well, this is, uh, it's, it's an enormous hypocritical uh, conundrum, isn't it? Because the, the U.S., they don't support The Hague because they are terrified of having U.S. politicians, like former presidents or the Pentagon, Pentagon generals, brought to the ICC uh, on the accusations of crimes against humanity, ranging from everything from Iraq to the Afghan-Pakistan tribal areas. But on the other hand, they want the Gaddafi clan to be brought to the ICC. And as one of your, your reporters were saying, can you imagine if Gaddafi will tell us on a 24-7 basis the collaboration of Libya with the, the Blair Bush Berlusconi trio that uh, you know brought Gaddafi back to the international community, all the shady deals involved, all the shady financial deals with Italy, especially any which has invested at least $50 billion in the oil industry in Libya and the dodgy relationships with virtually every European government, not to mention the US and arms dealers from Britain. It would be a fantastic show, wouldn't it? Pepe, we touched on it just now quickly. Uh, Russia's leading calls for other countries to let Libya find its own path. How capable, though, is the country of securing its own future by its own devices? Look, I would say Russia is calling for the right thing, but we don't know. Uh, it, it's a concourse of circumstances. Uh, they formed a committee in uh, Eastern Liberated Libya, Benghazi and all the other cities, to coordinate uh, how to run Eastern Libya in the next few weeks and how to coordinate this uh, push towards Sirte, because Sirte is critical. Sirte is where the Gaddafi um, uh, tribe comes from. It's on the way, on the road from Benghazi to Tripoli in the Mediterranean. If you conquer Sirte, then you can encircle Tripoli completely. But this is not a given, because there's a lot of uh, uh, Gaddafi loyalists that are concentrated in Sirte as well. So if they manage to do this, let's say, within the next week or 10 days, then we're going to have an assault on Tripoli. It's going to be horrible. It's going to be civil war. It's going to be a bloodshed. 
but it would be the end game. But nobody knows if this is going to happen in the next few days. Pepe Escobar in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Thanks for your thoughts on RT tonight. It's appreciated.